Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. Hit the like button if you like and please subscribe and share. And that would be awesome and I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Now it's been a foregone conclusion that former President Donald Trump will run for the 2024 Republican nomination. Trump still smarts from ex explicable loss to Joe Biden in 2020 and feels his rightful position is in the White House. Despite the assumption that Trump will run, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has gained unconsiderable traction in recent months after a string of political wins in his home state of Florida. DeSantis is accomplished, charismatic, and less bombastic than Trump. Bombastic than Trump. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Leading many potential voters to reconsider their options in 2024. Recently, Trump has had some interesting things to say about his potential rival. And former President Donald Trump offered a stunning rebuke of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis as polls show the latter posing a si significant obstacle to the former's 2024 plans. Trump shared his opinions about his former ally in New York Times reporter Maggie Haber Haberman, whom he spoke to in an on-the-record capacity three times as part of the research for her new book, Confidence Man, The Making of Donald Trump and the Breaking of America. The 45th president called Florida governor fat, phony, and whiny when Haberman asked about him during a meeting late this summer at the Trump National Golf Club Bedminster in New Jersey. Wow! These aren't shocking statements for anyone that follows President Trump, as he is quick to say what's on his mind. Yes, we know that. That is one of the things the American people appreciate about the former president. At least the right did. While the left bemoaned his lack of decorum and tact, conservatives, conservatives, I'll get it out, <laughs> liked his willingness to say what he was thinking rather than what was politically correct. Unfortunately for Trump, DeSantis is beloved in Florida and fairly well regarded nationally, and the polls reflect it. Trump's comments were made around the same time as news emerged that DeSantis had raised more money since January of last year than himself or President Joe Biden. In addition for, uh, to fundraising, DeSantis also leads the former president by an impressive eight points in a USA Today Shufflok University poll, Suflok, whatever, S-U-F-F-O-L-K, Suflock. University poll asking how Florida Republican registered voters would vote in a hypothetical primary against the two. That poll is far from an outler, outler, O-U-T-L-I-E-R. That poll is far from an outler with numerous others in the last year having similar results. Royal Rumble, Trump rips DeSantis as tension rise. Wow. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, that might be pretty interesting. I don't know. But I guess we'll see in the headlines. <laughs> Something's bound to give somewhere. All right, let's open this one up here. What have I got here? Well, let's move this over. And it's uploading right now, so I'm going to have to wait just a second. I never know if it's going to show or not going to show. So we'll have to see. If not, this will be just a here we are right here oh my goodness what's going on here let's move this over here 
I do better with my, I'm a right hander, so I do better with my cam on the right and my article on the left. Wow. When to retire a guide for investors with 500K? Well, I don't know. You might have money saved. You might have uh, it in stock. You might have it in other uh, situations uh, where you uh, can save. But the way things are going, sooner or later, I'm afraid you're going to have to dig out those savings because you're going to need them. Federal judge reveals Biden ordered FBI access to mar -Lago documents. We knew that. It is in the moments like these that one must wonder with does the Biden administration think? What does the Biden administration think? They had to know that this was going to go to court. They had to know that the truth about their role in this tyrannical raid was going to come to light. So how did they let this happen? Was it their belief that the entire media would stymie their efforts? Maybe they did, and maybe they will. There is one thing they did not anticipate, though. Jim Hoft and the Gateway pundit are mentioned. The Biden FBI-DOJ conduct a nine-hour marathon search of President Trump's Mar-a-Lago house and possessions on Monday, August the 8th of 2022. Even the First Lady Malena, Trump's closet, and the room of her 16-year-old Baron Trump was searched by the FBI. The raid was reported to the Biden White House. According to Corrine Jean Pierre, the White House press secretary, the day after it happened, Judge Aline Cannon earlier today approved President Trump's request for a special master review of the documents seized by the Biden DOJ during their raid on his Mar-a-Lago residence. In addition, Judge Cannon temporarily enjoins or prohibits the Biden administration from reviewing and using the confiscated materials until the review is finished. The judge ruling was published by the Gateway Pundit earlier today. So did Biden do this thinking he was going to get to look at all of the documents? <sighs> Sticking his nose in where it don't belong again? Oh well, I don't know. On pages two and three of the ruling, Judge Cannon revealed that it was Joe Biden who ordered the FBI access to the Mar-a-Lago documents, President Trump's personal belongings. Well, we, I knew that all along, and so did you. Yeah, I mean, we're not dumb. I'm sure most of us had that all figured out when it happened. And Joe Biden lied. The White House lied. And now they are caught. Biden denied it all. Oh, yeah, because I think I uh, put another video with it on there where he said, Oh, no, I didn't know anything about it. Oh, I don't, I don't have any idea. Bull crap. My goodness sakes alive. Four thoughts on federal judge reveals Biden ordered FBI access to the Mar-a-Lago documents. Keep tallying up the lies. These imposters are telling, and you'll lose court for sure. God willing, it will backfire soon, and this insufficientable administration will be rounded up and just be remembered as a bad dream. Amen. I will go along with that one. My goodness sakes alive. See, it was all put up. I mean, you know... When it, when it first aired that his home was being uh, broke into by the FBI, somebody had to do it, the rats under the table. Remember? Rats under the table. We all know they're there. They'll do anything they can to keep him from running for president because he would save what's going on right now, which Biden didn't do and hasn't done and never will. He's selling us out to China. He's not protecting us. He's not helping us in distress. 
He's making the distress that we're going through and have been going through. We can't take no two more years of him. Can't you picture what might happen then? He's got China and Russia so up in arms right now, they're ready to blow anybody off the map. In two more years, putting up with his whatever is up here between these two things here, where will we be? I mean, it's not, it's not a surprising question. It's a devastating question. Where will we be for two more years? What can we do to get him out? And they're all saying now, uh, I saw one article today, but I didn't feel very good, so I went and laid down, and I should have grabbed it. But it's, it had the first lines in it that I read was, he has got mental problems. I mean, he, he's a father of his son, of course, but he was in business dealings with his son, lying about it all that time and doing God knows what with his son in China against us. Now that was just in a couple videos ago that I posted. I mean, good gravy. Come on, people. And the drug cartel is, is just, they're so spread out now. They say they're in every state, every city, every town. So our young people or anyone is not safe now. And it was worse when crimes were going. Robbery and killing, guns and, and stabbings, kidnapping, taking children, selling them to sex offenders. Oh, come on. You know what? A thought just crossed my mind. What's Biden done about that? Or isn't that serious enough for him to think about? All he thinks about is money, 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 money. I want to spend some more of this money. I want to break the United States. I want to break them. So he's in cahoots. And so his son, all over China, and Russia's, Russia now, is he trying to get in with Russia on the good side of Putin? Well, if he wants to mess with Putin, he's got a job on his hands. Don't you agree? Leave me a comment. I'll be happy to read them, and I try to read all I can. And I am feeling better, so the change of the seasons, I get sick every time. It don't matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm used to it. Well, it started when I was very, very young. I think I think my mom said, well, they adopted me when I was six. I was adopted. And um, the I think it, that was in the spring. I can't remember, summer. But when fall come around, I had to miss a couple days of school. And they couldn't figure out what was the matter with me. I didn't have the flu. I didn't run a fever. No. But I was sick. I couldn't even get out of bed hardly. And so I healed up from that. It takes about maybe 10 days for me to really completely get over it. And uh, then the next time it rolled around, winter popped up, spring popped up, and I got sick both time. And my mom, you know, she said, what's the matter with her? And then my aunt said, she's the change of the seasons. It's messing with her metabolism. And sure enough, and I have never, I'm 79 years old now and it's never went away. <laughs> it would be nice if it would. I'd appreciate it. But oh well, I'm doing all right. So, okay, I'm going to look up some more articles and I'll be back. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Watch for drugs. God bless you. And I'll be back a little bit later. So long.